<laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another MLB The Show 21 video and as always if you a real one drop a like on the video if you new to the channel hit that red subscribe button and turn your channel notifications on today we're going to be going over stub methods stub techniques to help you get your stub count up so you will get if you're just playing the game if you're just grinding the game and conquest first inning program second inning program tops now moments you already will be getting free packs within the game so far i got probably 175 to 200 free packs that's a lot of silvers so what you want to do is go to this exchange take your silvers and turn them into golds now yesterday was a new roster update this is something that you have to remember very important after you drop a like on the video you need to take all them silvers that are in your binder just sitting there just rotting unless you are selling them for like 200 150 at a time you go up in here you find some cards boom put them in all you need to do is make 18,000 each time now I done already did this a lot so I cleaned out a lot of my silvers so right here we got two of these I don't have as many silvers left as you would so 16,000 and then we need to do one right here that's 20,000 so we're gonna put them in that's gonna give you a gold pack now if you do this the day before a roster update the prices are inflated they go up again today which is Saturday and then a little bit high tomorrow but usually if you put a silver in he's between 75 and 150 stubs you need five or six max to do that so you put in 700 stubs max and you pull in a gold that could be in the high six to nine thousand tier range so that's a four or five thousand stub profit sometimes you might get the one thousand gold stubs but the sale now is not what you want to use you want to go to the market and look it up so we're just gonna go through it right now we're gonna go to open packs one gold real quick has a chance to become something good so we got an 81 overall Carrasco so we're gonna go do it one more time we're gonna go to collect we're gonna go to exchanges we're gonna go to exchange players we're gonna go silvers to gold so we're gonna find a couple of these silvers I didn't clean out my uh, binder but y'all should have some silvers left so we got two right here I didn't already cleaned out my binder as you can see I'm over a hundred and sixty thousand stubs still because I jump on top of it now I'm just sharing it with y'all I want y'all to be able to take advantage of the same thing so once we do that we're gonna go back in here to these packs you can see my stub count is hundred and sixty one thousand four hundred and sixty five left now no money spent best team in the game no money spent just grinding the game and I haven't did any showdowns I've been doing conquest uh, I'm finishing up the last conquest map right now went through the first inning program went through the second inning program using my XP glitch and then getting my created player he's up to a 91 overall right now and I only used them for about three days of grinding so I didn't got probably 175 to 200 free packs throughout the game probably even more than that as you see we put a few silvers in the low tier silver 75 76s which is probably 65 to 100 stubs per so you put six of them in there that's about 600 stubs okay this card right here sell now is 1370 I got three of these okay so making golds is very easy that's like a 600 700 profit way faster than trying to flip on the market and wait for him to sell so we can go up in the market and look him up so he's 1370 sale and he's playing up to a 87 overall that lets you know you need to watch out for him he could go diamond pretty soon he's playing five tiers above his overall on the guard going crazy so we're gonna look up Galagos we're gonna go right here to marketplace we're gonna go to ML players we're gonna search them in we're gonna look up Galagos and see what his real thing is so Galagos Giovanni Galagos is buy now 1800 sell now 1370 so if we all total put them in for 600 
he's going for double. That's almost 650 to 700 stub profit that you're making. And I got a few of them. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to buy sell orders. I'm going to go to sell. And I'm going to put him right underneath the one that's up there. So 18, we're going to do, uh, do 1798. Put them up there. We're going to get 16, 18 back. So that's about a thousand stub profit. If it was 600 and something, I'm selling them for 16, 18. That's about a thousand stub profit. And I got a few of them. So I go back up there, create sale order. Now you got to do 17, 98 again. That's the lowest one. Order posted. So that's two cards that I flipped almost 4,000 stubs just by putting probably 12 silvers in. You got 4,000 stubs in return. If this helped you out, pay attention. Whenever a roster update is going up, whenever somebody is performing, you want to either stack up on them low tier cards and get ready for the roster update, which is every other Friday, they will inflate. So if you got a card, a couple of silvers that might go gold, it might be some big name golds that might go diamond. You want to get a few of them cards for the lowest price possible and then open up these silver packs and you can put four, 500, 600 stub worth of cards in and pull out 6,000 to 10,000 stubs. Cause some of the cards yesterday were at seven, eight, 9,000 stubs. So go ahead, use the market tips and elevate your stub count. Let's go.